Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a quick video on what to do in the event you have a HikVision or a DAWA security surveillance system and you are trying to activate the motion activated alerts. All of these systems have built-in capabilities that will allow the camera or the NVR slash DVR to email you a still shot of a motion event on your property. This works relatively well with most email exchange servers. However, uh, Gmail gives people fits. The reason for this, there are a couple of extra steps that you have to take in your Google account to allow your email server, Gmail's email server, to communicate with the NVR. Um, Two-way authentication has to be shut off. Um, and some other settings have to be adjusted. It's a simple process. We're going to cover it right now. All right, kids, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so, so you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. This very video um, is from a, uh, a comment left by a subscriber who's having issues with this very thing, um, getting emails to the Gmail account from their DAWA NVR. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is log into our camera. Of course, at this point, the camera has already been activated. It is networked and it is live on our network. If you have not watched previous videos on how to complete that process, there's a video going across the top of your screen right now that you can click on um, and get caught up to this point. Uh, again, the camera has to be networked and it has to be activated uh, before you can log into it. So this is a capture camera that is manufactured by DAWA. Once we log in, um, the operating system is exactly the same. So we're going to go ahead and log into this camera. Once we log in, we are going to go to the network settings. Okay. And in the network settings, this is exactly the same with a HikVision camera, all right? Almost all of these operating systems are uh, pretty much identical. They all have a section uh, labeled email in the network tab, okay? When you click on email, for a Gmail, okay, for a Gmail account, you will enter the following. For SMTP server, you want to enter SMTP dot gmail dot com just like that for port your recorder or camera is going to have a port um, defaulted here you want to erase that and you want to type 465 trust me that is the only port that will work with gmail and the uh, SSL mode that we're using okay your username that is going to be the email address of the gmail account Okay, this is Wentworth Technologies at gmail.com. Okay, your password is simply the password to your account. Okay, the sender is going to be the sending email account. Okay, I'm using the same email as the Gmail account. Um, again, for authentication, we want to pick SSL. Okay. That's what this port is. We want to have attachment clicked off, okay? This allows the recorder to attach a picture of the motion and movement to the IPC message or email, okay? Um, and we're gonna save, okay? Now, what we want to do now is we want to log into your Gmail account. This is setting up the camera to communicate with the Gmail account. Now we need to set up the Gmail account um, to work with the recorder. And when you go into your Gmail account, you're just going to pick this little icon in the top right corner, and we are going to pick manage your account. Okay. Once we're in here, we want to go over to the security tab. And when we're in the security tab, there are a couple of things that we need to do to allow your Gmail account to communicate with your NVR. Um, the first thing we have to do, okay, we have to turn off two-step verification. 
Okay, we have to turn it off. Right now it's on, it's on by default. So to turn it off, we're gonna hit this arrow. We're gonna enter our password. And we're gonna turn it off. Okay, just hit turn off. It's going to send a text message to your verification device. Mine is my cell phone, um, allowing us to turn off this feature. Okay. And right now, um, as you can see, we've turned the two-way, two-step verification off. Okay. Remember, this is a recorder sending a message to your phone. Okay. To set up the recorder, it does not have the ability. Um, to enter two-step verification. A, a, a recorder or a camera is not that smart. It can only send the email. So that's why the two-step verification has to be shut off. And you could say, well, Fred, um, that gives me an uneasy feeling. Is my email communication going to be confidential? And what I tell clients that is you should have a Gmail account or an email set up strictly for your recorder. All of these devices are made overseas um, and you want an email uh, that is used just for NVR and DVR communication. Okay, you don't want this hooked to a work email uh, or even a personal email. Uh, you want to set up a Gmail account just for um, for your surveillance system. And the good thing with that is you can also change the tone, right? Um, at least for me, when my work email goes off or personal email goes off during non-business hours, um, it goes off a lot, and I don't even pay attention to it most of the time because it's not business hours. Um, if you have this account set up with a different beep on your phone when a mail email message comes through, you'll pay attention to it. A lot of people do like a police siren uh, or some type of siren. It catches your attention. You know, oh, shoot, that's my security cameras. I need to look at that. Um, so just a word of caution on that. You, you want to use this account just for your surveillance system. The other thing we want to do down at the bottom, there is a less secure app um, access. And it says your account is vulnerable because you allow apps and devices that use less secure signing technology to access your account. That's the recorder. Um, by default, this is off. Okay. So most likely when you log into your machine and we go down to less secure app access, it's going to be off because that's how it is by default. If it is shut off, I'm telling you right now, it will not work with the recorder. This has to be on. So we're going to do turn on access, and it tells you it's not recommended, and we've already talked about the reasons why. Um, this will allow your NVR to communicate with Gmail's Exchange server. Okay. And again, um, if you're worried about security, if there's confidential stuff going through email, you want to set up a separate Gmail account just for your recorder. Now that we've done those two things, right? We've disabled two-step verification, and now we're allowing less secure apps to access our Gmail account. Um, when we test this, okay, if I can find my camera, here we are. If we test this, it'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit test. And it succeeded, okay? That's telling us that the NVR is communicating perfectly with the email. Um, if it was not, it would say fail. Okay, let's just, let's go into here for giggles um, and shut this off, less secure apps off. Now, when I do a test, it should fail, right? If what I'm telling you is right, it should fail because that's blocked. So let's test. Hey, it failed. What do you know? Okay, so let's turn this back on. Um, the one other thing I did want to show you um, while we're into the camera is you want to make sure that your event notification area right here is actually turned on because when the camera is shipped event notifications um, will actually be disabled okay so right here it says motion detection we want to enable that okay we want to enable it and we want the send email tab checked and we want it to send a snapshot as well okay so we'll go ahead and save that. And what I will do, I have this camera kind of haphazardly set upstairs in a den. Um, I'll move it in the window frame a little bit just to trigger a motion. And we will verify via email that we received that alert. 
All right, you guys, I am out of breath. I just ran up into the den area and triggered this camera. I, I moved the camera. Um, it's just haphazardly set up in the den. So we should have a notification in our, in our email. And right there we see an alarm event along with a picture. And that is me moving the camera. Okay, beautiful. Can zoom in, zoom out. Um, but the motion uh, operation is working. And that is how you open up Gmail to allow your IP surveillance equipment to communicate via email. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.